Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Britt Nicole, and today we have the chance to hang out with Megan Smalley and her company, Scarlet and Gold, to hear about how they are being the change. I'm here with Megan Smalley. We're talking about being the change. And Megan started a company called Scarlet and Gold, and we're gonna hear about her story today and what they're doing to be the change. So we started in September of 2013. Mm -hmm. So, um, about two and a half years ago yeah. and um, it was just a hobby on the side like a creative outlet for me oh, I never yeah. really thought it would be anything more than that yeah. and then fast forward four months later I got laid off from my job it was just one of these moments like okay God yeah. like what do you have for me I thought this was my dream job but we just decided okay if we're gonna go for it let's mm -hmm. just go for it I just love seeing people go after their dreams and do what God put them on this earth to do. Yeah. And, um, and so hopefully today, even if there's people watching, they'll be yeah. encouraged by your story yeah. to just go after their dreams, yes. to step out. Yes. And like you said, even if it's small, just go. Yeah. So I love this message and I love sharing with people to step out. Mm -hmm. And one of the biggest things that I talk about is just taking the next step. Mm -hmm. So when you have this big picture idea, like, okay, I want to do this yeah. and this is the level I want to do it at, it right. seems so overwhelming. Yeah. It's like, how do I ever I get even <laughs> get there? And for me, it's one day at a time. Yeah. And I think the progress is made in your daily agenda. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a big list maker yeah. and I try to set goals for myself. Like, okay, this is where I want to be by the end of the year. Yeah. So let's back that up. Yeah. Okay, so we're in January or whatever month you're in. How do I get there? Yeah. What steps? Break it down in practical steps. Yeah. Um, because the more you break it down, the less overwhelming it is. Let's talk a little bit about this shirt, this okay. campaign that you guys have started. Yeah. Um, again, we're talking about being the change, um, and this company, Scarlet and Gold, is being the change in different ways, and so we're gonna start with this t-shirt, Give Grace. So tell us about this movement, what it's all about. So it started because my husband and I are struggling with infertility. We've been walking this road for three years now, and it's been really hard. Um, June of this year will actually be two years of our failed IVF attempt. And I finally feel like I, God has put the pieces of my heart back together. And I mean, it just ripped my heart out and smashed it in a million pieces. And the past two years have been a struggle of just like taking the next step and juggling business, but also putting back my heart. Um, together and so um, my girls actually Coral um, our art director who has a little girl um, she we didn't know each other when she first came on staff with us and she has become quickly become one of my best friends and she um, always checks on me and my heart and where I'm at and I told her I think I'm ready to try this again but it's a financial thing um, we paid fourteen thousand dollars out of pocket the first time for IVF and we don't have that kind of money my husband's a teacher and I didn't draw a salary for a year and a half with the business and um, so she was she felt very called to help and so that's what the give grace campaign was all about in the beginning is um, let's put some pieces together, one, to help raise money for Megan and Blake to send them to do IVF again, mm -hmm. but also on my end of things, I just have a, a, I feel like a calling on my life and my heart to share this story mm -hmm. and share what God has brought us through because um, it, it's not easy and I think it's something that so many women struggle with in silence because mm -hmm. they feel like they can't talk about it. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's been my heart is just to put my story out there to be open about what I'm struggling with and what's hard and what's not and and I think I've learned through this process that so many people don't know how to handle hard things mm -hmm. on either sides like how do you love a friend through a struggle mm -hmm. I've heard so many times well I didn't say anything because I didn't know what to say yeah. and and that's not the right way to, yeah. to handle it I mean you yeah. feel when you're on the receiving end you feel so unloved because yeah. people don't know what to say yeah. and they don't want to talk about yeah, it. they're afraid, they're and, afraid. And, yeah. and I think it's just about being there rolling up mm -hmm. your sleeves 
sitting on the couch beside your friend and just crying with them and loving them and saying, how can I pray for you? How can I encourage you? Because when people finally come to the realization that nothing you say mm -hmm. is gonna fix it, yeah. just be there. Yeah. And so that's kind of the whole message of the campaign is how to love somebody through a struggle and how to love mm -hmm. yourself through a struggle. And we came up with the phrase, give grace, um, because it's something that I've shared about mm -hmm. through my story. Grace is such a beautiful picture of of Jesus and the cross and it is a gift to us that we don't deserve. Being the change I feel like is about um, maybe doing something different yes. than everyone else. You know, if, you, if you see a, a homeless person, okay, why don't you be the change and go talk to them? Right. Or go, and that's just one scenario, but just being the change, being the light, being the hope, yes. um, that's what we're called to do. Yes. You know? And, and it's, and it's counter culture, or it's mm -hmm. counter to the culture we live in, and yeah. you're walking against the grain, which right. makes it hard, but yeah. um, it's so cool to yeah. step out yeah. and that change yeah, and it gives it gives you purpose and it um, it gives you joy you yes. know when you love well and when you're there for someone it, it gives you a, a lot of joy I for feel sure like. so um, so let's just show them this shirt okay. it's really cool yeah. Is, and you guys have like different colors. And, yes. And yeah. we have, um, so we have three different prints that are in the Give Grace collection. One of them is a dogwood mm -hmm. and it um, has a lot of significance. They say that um, Jesus' cross was made out of a dogwood tree because it's right. the hardest um, mm -hmm. tree. And so we try to pick, I mean, everything that we do, including this campaign, we try to pick things with deep meaning mm -hmm. and things that touch the heart. Mm -hmm. And so everything in our Give Grace collection is intended to be, I know, I've heard a lot, you know, on the on the friend side of somebody going through a struggle. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to give them. I don't know how to encourage them. Mm -hmm. And that's what the line of Give Grace stuff is supposed to be like some a, a really neat gift that mm -hmm. has a story yeah, um, cool. that you can say, Hey, I know you're struggling, but um, this this message just really spoke to me, and I thought yeah, it would encourage you. That's so cool. Hey everybody, thank you so much for hanging out with me and Megan today. It was a lot of fun getting to know her, hearing about her story, her courage to step out and go after the dreams that are in her heart to change the world. And now her and her company, Scarlet and Gold, truly are making a difference. Go to their website to hear about what they're doing. You can go to their Instagram. And if you want to be the change, start right now today. Start with loving the people in your life. Take that first step towards your dreams. I know you can do it. I believe in you. You, together we can be the change. Whoa.